There are a lot of stars in the sky at night, but Betelgeuse is hiding a secret that will amaze everyone. People often think of this red giant as just another star, but it is on the verge of a cosmic event that could be as bright as the moon. Imagine, if you will, a star that shines so brightly that its light can reach through the blue sky during the day. Betelgeuse, a huge star in the constellation Orion, is almost at the end of its stellar journey. It will soon explode in a supernova explosion that will light up the universe in ways that were only possible in theory until now. Scientists have been keeping an eye on Betelgeuse for years, noticing its strange changes in brightness with a mix of wonder and excitement. Unlike most stellar events, Betelgeuse's upcoming supernova isn't just another faraway cosmic event. It's a show that everyone on Earth could see, giving us a rare, unfiltered look into how stars die. The explosion is expected to send out a wave of light and energy that will show how powerful the universe really is and give us new information about how stars die. Not its size or the fact that it could be a sight to see, but also how close it is to Earth makes Betelgeuse stand out. Since it is only 600 light years away, its supernova would be visible to the human eye and could be the subject of many scientific studies that could change the way we think about how stars evolve. Scientists think that this event could give us very useful information about how supernovas help fill the world with heavy elements that are needed for life. Over 400 years have passed since the last time people saw a supernova with their own eyes. The last part of Betelgeuse gives us a front row seat to a cosmic show that has been going on for hundreds of years. This event, which combines beauty and science, is a sign of things to come and will make us think about the world and our place in it. As we approach this important cosmic event, people around the world watch and wait. The supernova at Betelgeuse is both an end and a beginning. It shows how the universe works in a cycle, with endings leading to new starts. The explosion will be a sharp reminder of how big the universe is and how beautiful the celestial bodies that live in it are only for a short time. Continuing from the fascinating idea of Betelgeuse's supernova as a cosmic show, such an event has huge stakes, both because it will be so visible and because it will yield so much science information. The bright flash and glow of Betelgeuse's last days would be safe to see from Earth, but the event has a much bigger effect than just being beautiful to look at. The explosion of this huge star provides astrophysicists with a unique real-time laboratory and may change the way we think about the universe. The energy from Betelgeuse's supernova, which includes neutrinos and electromagnetic waves from the very small to the very large, would flood our solar system. This would be a once-in-a-lifetime chance to study these events as they happen. Gamma-ray bursts are guided emissions from some cosmic events that can be dangerous. However, the radiation from Betelgeuse should be safe because it is a supernova and is pointing away from Earth. This harmless shower of cosmic particles might help us improve our models of how stars evolve, especially those that show how huge stars end their lives and how they fall apart. In addition, the explosion might shed light on how massive stars add heavy elements to the universe. Compounds like carbon, oxygen, and iron are made in the centers of stars and then spread out into space by these explosions. Scientists would be able to see this process directly during Betelgeuse's supernova. This would help us learn more about how the universe's complicated chemistry changes over time, impacting everything from the creation of new stars and planets to the very chance of life. The event would also be a test run for our networks, for watching the sky, and our early warning systems for cosmic events, including those that could be dangerous to Earth. We would have to see how well we can handle and study a huge amount of data in a lot of different wavelengths and particles. This could lead to improvements in observational technologies and methods. The events that followed Betelgeuse's supernova would also help us understand how supernova remnants work, including the spreading shockwaves and matter that are thrown into space. By studying these leftovers, we can learn more about the interstellar medium and how explosions like these affect the structure and development of galaxies. Betelgeuse's supernova doesn't directly threaten Earth, but it will have a huge effect on what scientists know and how they understand it. 
This event could be the foundation, a lighthouse in the dark that guides our search for answers to the most mysterious things happening in the world. So, Betelgeuse's last act is not only proof of the circle of star life, but also a key to finding out more about the universe. After talking about how interesting it is that Betelgeuse is about to go supernova, and what that means for Earth and science research, let's look at what makes Betelgeuse different from our own star, the Sun. This exploration is based on a lot of science facts and is meant to show the differences and unique features that make Betelgeuse so interesting and studied. It is a red supergiant star in the constellation Orion. When put next to our Sun, Betelgeuse looks like a huge mountain its width is about 1,400 times that of the Sun. This means that if we put Betelgeuse in the middle of our solar system, it would swallow up the inner planets and reach past Mars, maybe even to Jupiter. Because it is so huge, it is called a supergiant, which is a stage that stars with a lot of mass reach near the end of their lives. Even though Betelgeuse is very big, its mass is not as disproportionately big as its size would suggest. It is thought that Betelgeuse has 10 to 20 times the mass of the Sun. The difference between the star size and mass shows that supergiant stars are less dense and more spread out than smaller stars like our Sun. The temperature of Betelgeuse's surface tells us another story of difference. The surface of the Sun is always 5,500 degrees Celsius hot, but the surface of Betelgeuse is always around 3,500 degrees Celsius cool. This cooler temperature helps give it its red color, which makes it different from the sun's bright yellow color. The different temperatures also show that they are at different points in their lives. Betelgeuse is getting close to the end of its life, while the sun is in its stable middle age. One of the most interesting things about Betelgeuse is how it changes over time. Unlike our sun, which stays pretty bright most of the time, Betelgeuse is known to go through big cycles of getting darker and brighter. Astronomers are confused by these changes, which is why they are keeping a close eye on them. The star dims every so often. This is because its upper layers are changing and gas and dust are being thrown off, which can block its light. This kind of activity is normal for red supergiants, but it gives us a unique chance to see these processes happen in real time. Also, Betelgeuse's end as a supernova is very different from what scientists think will happen to the Sun. Betelgeuse is going to explode in a supernova, which will light up the sky. On the other hand, the Sun will change into a white dwarf much more slowly after becoming a red giant and losing its upper layers. We use the power of advanced computer models to peel back the layers of this cosmic mystery as we learn more about Betelgeuse and the interesting predictions about its future. For example, Scientists use complicated computer models to figure out how stars like Betelgeuse behave, especially how they change before and after a supernova explosion. These simulations are very important because they let us see things that even the most powerful telescopes can't see. Astronomers use the rules of science to make detailed models of stars that include things like mass, temperature, brightness, and composition. Simulations help figure out when and how to see Betelgeuse's supernova, even though the star is very mysterious. Changes to the model parameters let experts see how small changes can have big effects on the results. Based on these computer tests, Betelgeuse's supernova might be one of the most amazing things to see in the night sky in thousands of years, brighter than the moon and visible during the day. Simulations of Betelgeuse's supernova also help us understand what happens after such an event. They look into how the explosion would spread elements that are needed for life throughout the galaxy, adding to the cycle of matter in the universe. This knowledge is very important for understanding how supernovas create the building blocks for stars and planets to come. The pictures that come from these models are not only useful for science, but they are also beautiful works of art that people love. They take complicated data and turn it into beautiful pictures and videos that show what happens before, during, and after a supernova explosion. Visualizations like these make the invisible visible and show the beauty and power of nature in the world in ways that words alone can't. Computer models have never been more important in astronomy than they are right now, 
as we get ready to see one of the most important events in the history of the field. They not only help us understand stars like Betelgeuse better, but they also get us ready for what we might see, so we can enjoy and learn from every moment of this show in the sky. You might have thought that Betelgeuse couldn't get any more interesting, but new findings have shocked scientists. What did the James Webb Space Telescope find out about this cosmic time bomb that is ticking? Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the mystery and look at how cutting-edge technology and the smart people who work on it have led to new finds and insights. Following the threat of anticipation created by the possibility of Betelgeuse's supernova and strengthened by our exploration through simulations, recent observational campaigns led by the James Webb Space Telescope have shed new light on this huge star's current state and its ultimate fate. Thanks to its high precision and sensitivity, especially in the infrared range, Webb has given astrophysicists a better-than-ever picture of Betelgeuse's surface and its surroundings. The detailed pictures of Betelgeuse's surface taken by Webb have been one of the most important discoveries. They show huge convective bands that move heat from the star's core to its surface. These cells make the star's surface rise and move, which helps explain why its brightness changes over time. Even though this event has been forecast by simulations, it has now been seen in unprecedented detail giving us a better understanding of what might happen before a supernova. The Webb Space Telescope has also found a lot of dust and gas around Betelgeuse. This stuff was probably thrown out by the star itself over thousands of years. This material around the star is especially interesting because it might change how the star's ultimate supernova looks and how strong it is. For example, if the supernova shockwave interacts with this stuff, it could make a show that is very bright and lasts a long time unlike anything astronomers have seen before. These new findings have helped improve models that show when the supernova will happen, which has led to more accurate predictions about what will happen to Betelgeuse. It is known that Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life, but no one knows for sure when the supernova will happen. But the Webb Space Telescope's detailed data has helped scientists make more accurate models of how Betelgeuse works on the inside. These models show that the star might explode sooner than thought, possibly in the next 100,000 years, which is very short in cosmic terms. Also, experts are keeping a close eye on the star to see if there are any signs of a neutrino burst, which would definitely happen before the supernova. Even though no such burst has been found yet, the tools and methods for observing are ready to make sure that if Betelgeuse does start its final death throes, we will be able to see one of the most important cosmic events ever. Web studies in advanced computer models have not only helped us learn more about Betelgeuse's current state, but they have also made a big difference in how stars change over time and how they die. As we look deeper into the heart of one of the sky's most famous stars, this investigation shows how modern astronomy can help us figure out the puzzles of the universe and expand our knowledge of it. Learning more about supernovas helps us understand the universe better especially as we think about how Betelgeuse will eventually blow up. There are two main types of supernovas, which are the brightest and most powerful explosions in the universe, Type 1 and Type 2. Each type happens under different star conditions and goes through different steps before it explodes in a huge explosion. There are more types of Type I supernovas, but they all have one thing in common. Their spectral lines don't have any hydrogen in them. This lack of hydrogen shows that the parent star had lost its upper layers before it exploded. Type IA supernovas happen most often in binary systems, which is when a white dwarf star takes in matter from its partner star. A thermonuclear explosion happens when the white dwarf hits a critical mass, which is about 1.4 times the mass of the Sun. This is called the Chandrasekhar limit. Astronomers use Type IA supernovas as standard candles, to measure the distances between galaxies, because this process is so consistent. Type II supernovas, on the other hand, happen when the heart of a massive star falls apart at the end of its life. The spectrum lines of these stars show that they have kept their hydrogen. When the core runs out of nuclear fuel, it can't keep up the pressure it needs to fight gravity. This causes the core to fall catastrophically, sending a shockwave back out into space that tears the star apart. When the core collapses, a huge amount of neutrinos are released. 
Neutrinos are very mysterious particles that don't interact with matter very often. Both types of supernovas give off energy and chemicals that are very important to the chemistry of the universe. For example, the iron in our blood and the calcium in our bones were made in the cores of dying stars and then spread out through these huge blasts. Supernovas are very important for spreading these elements out into the universe, where they help start new stars and worlds. In the star's heart, there are complicated nuclear fusion reactions going on that lead up to the explosion. In big stars that are going to explode as type II supernovas, the core goes through several stages of fusion that make heavier elements up to iron. Fusion of iron, on the other hand, doesn't give off energy. It uses it up. When a star's core is mostly iron, it can't hold up the star's upper layers for long. This causes the core to collapse, which causes the supernova explosion. As the date of the first supernova from Betelgeuse gets near, learning more about how these celestial events work helps us understand the drama unfolding over very long timescales. Not only does Betelgeuse's impending explosion show that stars can live and die, it also holds the key to understanding the processes that have created the universe we can see. We are very interested in what will happen to Betelgeuse because its possible supernova could help solve cosmic puzzles that have stumped scientists for hundreds of years. Are you ready to learn about the shocking truths and what they mean for how the world works? Let's work together to figure out the mysteries, going deep into the study of supernovae to find the forces that make galaxies and the very nature of being. The possibility of a supernova explosion, especially one that could be seen from Earth like Betelgeuse's, makes us think about what these terrible events mean in the universe and on Earth. Supernova explosions aren't just events that happen in stars. They're also important to the life cycle of the universe and can have effects on planets far away from the blast site. In the history of science, supernovas have been important events. Scientists in China recorded the supernova of 1054, and it's possible that native people in the Americas saw it. It created the Crab Nebula, an object that scientists study a lot to learn more about what happens after these kinds of explosions. Similarly, SN 1987A, the closest supernova seen since telescopes were invented, gave us a lot of useful information about how stars die and what part neutrinos play in the universe. Neutrinos are very important to the physics of supernovae and are sometimes called ghost particles because they are so hard to find. A huge number of these almost massless particles are released during a supernova. They take away a lot of the energy from the explosion. Finding neutrinos from a supernova would not only confirm theories about how the explosion happened, but it would also give scientists a look into what's going on deep inside the falling star that can't be seen with electromagnetic waves. How a supernova blast might affect Earth depends a lot on how far away it is. A supernova that happens within a few dozen light years of Earth could have noticeable effects on the flora. The main way this would happen is by increasing the amount of cosmic radiation that reaches Earth. This radiation could hurt the ozone layer, which makes more harmful radiation from the Sun reach the surface. But Betelgeuse is 600 light years away, which is far enough that its supernova probably wouldn't hurt Earth. Instead, it would be a great way to see an amazing light show and help scientists study the universe. Still, the idea of a supernova happening closer makes us think about our place in the world and how fragile life is on Earth. The world is always changing and is often violent. There is a small chance that a supernova will directly threaten Earth in the near future, but that doesn't change how important it is to study these events. Knowing about supernovas and how they affect the universe can help us get ready for and maybe even lessen the effects of cosmic threats on Earth. Also, supernovas have a big impact on the ecosystem of the galaxy. They are in charge of spreading heavy elements into the space between stars. These are the elements that planets and life itself are made of. In this way, every supernova is like a furnace where the building blocks for new star systems including worlds that might be livable, are made. As the story of Betelgeuse goes on, you might wonder what would happen if an explosion like this happened closer to Earth. You might be shocked by the answers. Next, we'll talk about how a supernova might affect Earth and why scientists are paying so much attention to the stars. 
Not only does this trip into the heart of stellar explosions show how dangerous they can be, but it also shows how important they are to the world because they help keep the cycle of death and rebirth going. As we learn more about supernovas and what they mean for everyone, it's important to look into how they affect Earth's biosphere in direct and secondary ways. The universe is like a tapestry with threads of creation and death running through it. Supernovae are some of the strongest forces in this dynamic. People watch the amazing show of a supernova, like the one that is about to happen with Betelgeuse, from a safe distance. But supernovas that happened in the past, closer to Earth, may have left lasting effects on our world and life itself. Researchers have found some interesting proof that the Earth has been touched by the remains of supernovas in the past. Isotopes like Iron-60, which is a sign of supernova blasts, have been found in unusually high amounts in layers of sedimentary deposits, especially on the ocean floors. Because Earth doesn't make these isotopes in large amounts, they show that our planet has been bombarded with cosmic matter from supernovas close by. Such cosmic events could have a lot of different effects on Earth. One idea is that the cosmic rays from a supernova could make it easier for clouds to form by ionizing the Earth's atmosphere. In turn, this could cause big changes in the climate, which could cool the planet and have effects on ecosystems similar to those seen during volcanic events or big asteroids hitting Earth. In addition, the increased cosmic energy might have effects on living things. The high energy particles could weaken the ozone layer, which protects Earth from the sun's ultraviolet radiation. This would let more UV radiation hit the surface. This rise could change photosynthesis, hurt water life, and make skin cancer and other UV-related diseases more common in plants and animals that live on land. In the past, there have been links found between supernovae and mass extinctions on Earth. It's hard to prove direct cause, but the timing of some supernovas seems to match up with times when living things were dying out or changing quickly. All of this says that, in the right conditions, the death throes of faraway stars could really affect life on Earth. Also, it's important to remember that the stuff that supernovas throw out into space, like heavy elements and organic compounds, is very important for the chemical development of the galaxy. This stuff makes interstellar clouds better, and those clouds may finally fall apart to make new stars and planets, which could give those new stars and planets the building blocks for life. From this point of view, supernovas are both a possible threat and a source of the very elements that made life possible. The birth, death, and legacy of stars like Betelgeuse show us how we are all connected to each other and to the world. The more we learn about these celestial events, the more we understand how the universe works, and the more we value the careful balance of conditions that makes life possible on Earth. After talking about how supernovas have affected Earth in the past, it's time to talk about the specific environmental and biological effects these cosmic events could have, with a focus on high-energy radiation. To understand these effects, you need to know how supernova emissions affect Earth's biosphere and the tools people have made to find and maybe even stop these cosmic risks like the Supernova Early Warning System, SNOOZE. A supernova explosion sends out a huge amount of energy, such as cosmic rays and high-energy gamma rays. These powerful particles and radiations might be able to get into Earth's atmosphere and change its chemistry, which would have an effect on living things. One major worry is that these high-energy particles will cause nitrogen oxides to be released into the air, which will damage the ozone layer. If the ozone layer were thinner, more ultraviolet, UV radiation from the sun would reach the Earth's surface. This would raise the chance of skin cancer in people and hurt the DNA of animals, which could upset ecosystems. Also, more UV rays could hurt photosynthesis, which is the process that most living things on Earth depend on. Not only would less photosynthesis lower the amount of oxygen in the air, but it would also mess up the base of the food chain, which would have effects that spread to many ecosystems. Marine life, especially phytoplankton, which is at the base of the marine food web, would be greatly affected. This would have effects further up the food chain, affecting fish numbers and the animals and people that depend on them. The Supernova Early Warning System, SNOOZE, was created so that scientists can keep an eye on these kinds of cosmic risks and lessen the damage they might do. 
This worldwide system of neutrino detectors is meant to let scientists and the public know when a supernova is about to happen in our galaxy by picking up the first burst of neutrinos that come before the explosion's visible light. Neutrinos leave the core of a falling star almost as soon as the collapse starts because they have almost no mass and only weakly interact with matter. They reach Earth hours or even days before electromagnetic radiation does. The SNOOS service is a big step toward making us more ready for cosmic events. Scientists can get cameras and other observation tools ready to study the supernova in more detail before the supernova itself happens, because it gives them an early warning. In the unlikely event that a supernova comes close enough to directly threaten Earth's biosphere, early detection could allow precautions to be taken to protect living things. For example, vulnerable species could be kept safe in controlled environments, and people could be told what to do to avoid being exposed to higher radiation levels. In conclusion, supernovas can be dangerous to Earth's biosphere and environment, but we are better able to protect our world thanks to advances in detection and early warning systems like SNOOS and our growing knowledge of these cosmic events. As we learn more about the world and all the things that happen in it, we not only learn more about cosmology, but we also make the tools we need to protect the delicate balance of life on Earth. A supernova explosion from a star like Betelgeuse is about to happen, which will likely be one of the most amazing things to see in the sky. New space missions and study projects will help us learn more about these amazing events. With their high-tech tools and technologies, these projects will give us new information about how stars die and come back to life, how supernovas work, and how the universe has changed over time. The European Space Agency's Next Generation X-ray Observatory, Athena, is one of the most anticipated missions. It is set to fly in the early 2030s. With its cutting-edge X-ray detectors and mirrors, Athena aims to make the most accurate maps of hot gas structures and black hole locations in the universe. By looking at the X-rays that come from supernova remnants, Athena will learn more about the harsh conditions that these explosions create. This will help us figure out how supernovas add to the chemical enrichment of the universe. The Legacy Survey of Space and Time LSST, at the Vera C. Rubin Observatory is another groundbreaking project that will soon start running. The LSST will use a cutting-edge 8.4-meter telescope with the biggest digital camera in the world. Every few nights, this camera will take detailed pictures of the whole sky. Astronomers will be able to see how the universe changes over time, including the first signs of supernovas thanks to this large study. By keeping an eye on stars like Betelgeuse, the LSST could give scientists important information about the steps before a supernova, which would help them figure out when and how these explosions will happen. In addition, the James Webb Space Telescope will keep looking at the infrared universe and studying possible supernovae in great detail. Its task has already begun. Webb's powerful instruments can see through clouds of dust that block out other telescopes. This could help us understand what's going on in the last few years before a star like Betelgeuse explodes. Webb's data will be very important for figuring out what happens around possible supernovas and how they affect the space around them. Together, these missions and other projects that use ground-based telescopes and space observatories are a big step forward in our quest to figure out how the universe works. With advanced technologies that let us sense things that current instruments can't, these projects look like they will completely change the way we think about things related to stars, like how stars die and come back to life, how supernova explosions work, and how galaxies change over time. As we come to the end of our trip through space, let's take a moment to think about how big a supernova like Betelgeuse is, not just for science, but for all of us who are amazed by the stars. The approaching death of such a celestial giant is not just the end, it is also a show of cosmic recycling and rebirth that shows how dynamic the universe is all the time. What can we learn about life from this vast star system's life and possible death? As we prepare to see the past of the universe, we are reminded of how our paths are connected in this huge, unfolding universe. As we near the end of our cosmic journey, which has been focused on the amazing and scary event of Betelgeuse's possible supernova, it's appropriate to think about the deeper philosophical implications of such celestial events. 
These events in space aren't just interesting to scientists. They're also powerful reminders of how beautiful and fragile life is. With its endless space and time lengths that are hard to understand, the universe is a much bigger picture than anything humans have seen or experienced. With their huge power and ability to both make and break things, stars like Betelgeuse are perfect examples of how the cosmos is both beautiful and violent at the same time. The death of a star can light up the sky for worlds that are unimaginably far away. Betelgeuse's possible supernova makes us think about our place in the universe. We are just viewers of the grand theater of the universe, where stars are born, live, and die in cycles that last millions to billions of years, a very long time compared to human history and society. But even though we are only here for a short time, we can watch, understand, and appreciate these cosmic events, which bridges the gap between the infinite and the infinitesimal. This contemplation on the majesty of the universe and our place in it brings out the paradox of human life. We are both small in the grand plan of things happening in the universe and able to understand its vastness and beauty. The possible supernova of Betelgeuse is a warning of how vulnerable we all are here on Earth, orbiting a normal star in the middle of space. But it also shows how amazing it is that people can study, understand, and find meaning in the universe. When we look up at the stars at night, we see the history of the world being made. Betelgeuse is one of many stars that tell stories that go back billions of years and show how the universe came to be. These events in space link us to the universe in a deep way and tell us that everything is connected. They make us think about the delicate balance that makes life possible on Earth and motivate us to protect this small but important place in the universe. In the end, the awe and beauty of cosmic events like Betelgeuse's possible supernova are not just things that scientists study. They are deep feelings that go beyond what we know and touch the core of our being. They tell us that even though the universe is very big, we are not alone. Instead, we feel connected to it, like we know our place in it, and filled with awe that drives our desire to learn more and discover new things. If you could see any cosmic event in the universe, what would it be and why, is a question that cuts across both science and philosophy. What you say can be anything from the harrowing beauty of a supernova, like Betelgeuse's possible grand ending, to the peaceful dance of galaxies merging billions of light years away. Your thoughts are welcome in the comment section below. Let's keep talking about the amazing things in our world. If you liked our trip through space, don't forget to like this video and follow for more adventures in space. Sharing this movie helps other people see how amazing and beautiful our universe is, and it makes them think about their place in it too. Feel free to share and let's keep looking up.